by Karen Nyberg earlier in the day. Okay, thank you. He will uh, release uh, a series of launch restraint straps holding that elbow camera's pan and tilt unit in place. Once again, uh, Mike Fossum releasing these launch restraint straps uh, to free up the elbow camera to be able to uh, move its pen and tilt unit. Ron Garin uh, making his way over to the uh, Starboard One Truss, where he will work uh, to release a pair of uh, attachment devices, basically uh, structurally and electrically demating connections uh, from the orbiter boom sensor system at its stowage location on that truss. Mike Fossum now uh, over by the uh, Harmony module of the International Space Station, having uh, opened up the uh, hatch window cover and uh, Velcroing it in place. Uh, this uh, sets the stage for the uh, insertion of a centerline berthing camera system that will uh, assist uh, the uh, station uh, robotic operators, uh, Hoshide and Nyberg, later today in uh, the mating of the Kibo science module to the port side of the Harmony node. That is correct. And uh, break for Houston and everyone else. The small arm is at the OBSS pre-grapple position. Okay, we ha we copy Hawk. Also, we copied Mike's words on this on the uh, ceiling surface. It's all expected, and uh, thanks for the report. Looks good. Outstanding. Great, thanks. And station copies Hawk, and with that, uh, the SSRMS is ready to, so uh, we, uh, we can give Rodney a go for outboard SS bad release. Okay, that sounds good, Aki. It's going to be a minute. He's going to do the bag first, but uh, that's great. So I understand uh, the big arm will be ready to move forward uh, when Rodney is. Uh, not quite. Uh, once he releases, we'll have to reconfigure a little bit. Okay, thanks. Take a look at the window. Garen now uh, has released grounding straps holding uh, those protective bags over the uh, laser sensor package. Again, these are the uh, lasers uh, that uh, provide uh, the part of the scanning capability for the orbiter boom sensor system to take three-dimensional imagery of the uh, thermal protection heat shield on discovery. Now the view from Mike Fossum's helmet camera. Fossum's next task uh, will be to perform a checkout of a series of ready-to-latch indicators on the mobile base system's common attach system. That uh, is the device, basically, that payloads can be stored on. The mobile base system is the uh, base, just as it implies, uh, for the mobile transporter, the rail car that moves up and down the truss of the International Space Station. This uh, quick test of the ready-to-latch indicators uh, will prove uh, the worthiness of that system for future use. And you got to go to move station forward. Ready, ready, now. And Houston, we got the, uh, which MCAS is that, Mike? Zenith. The Zenith MCAS down. Ready, ready, now. 
Hey, Ronnie, copy. Uh, our boy SS bad release. Uh, we're going to configure, so it's going to take about a minute. Okay, that's fine. I'll convert this back some more. Let's get it. Okay, Mike, Roddy, uh, the arm is ready. Uh, we're going to move uh, five zero centimeters station forward. I have clearance in the station forward side and the arm. And if uh, Roddy can look at the uh, aft side of the, the OBSS. I got it. Got it, okay. Okay, going towards you, Mike. Ready. Station forward, five zero centimeters. Yeah, hold motion. on, Sagaki. Uh, understand this is three five centimeters, is that correct? I'm uh, sorry, yes, that's affirmative. Right? So yes, five zero centimeters on the digitals. Okay, thank you. For 15 to follow. Thank you, motion. Good motion. Good motion. Good motion. Lots of slack in the cable. Looks good. A good view of the Canadarm2 with a firm grasp on the uh, midpoint grapple fixture on the 50-foot-long orbiter boom sensor system. Ron Guerin and uh, Mike Fossum, now one hour, four minutes into their spacewalk, will begin uh, to disconnect a series of uh, electrical connectors and a device called a keep-alive umbilical attachment device that... Uh, held the power supply uh, for the orbiter boom sensor system during its three months on the uh, starboard truss of the International Space Station. Yeah, I, I believe uh, we got to wait for uh, Ronnie to unplug at the KU. I oh, know, from the arm point of view. Yeah, uh, Mike, you like that position? Yes, that's fine. Thanks, on. Mike, I guess that's for you. Let me know when you're in a good position. Okay. I'm almost down and clear and in a place where I can watch. Okay. I am below the arm. Good view. From one end to the other. Okay. Over to you, Aki. I think I'll that. And uh, confirm Ronnie's clear as well. Ronnie's clear. We're clear. Okay, so starting uh, station Zenith, 500 centimeters. And I will tell you when you are free to go. Okay. Starting motion. Good motion. Be good motion. Outstanding. You're clear to jazz. And I see we are clear, so you are free to go. Thanks for the help, Mike. You bet. Off you nice job. Enjoy the uh, the rest of the EVA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's it going up there, Ronnie? Good. It's going to be a while, but it's going good. Yeah. The uh, orbiter boom sensor system under the firm grasp of the shuttle robotic arm, Ron Garin. Uh, you're looking through his helmet camera as he makes his way from the S-1 truss, having uh, completed the cleanup work up there where the uh, boom had resided for the past three months, now making his way uh, toward the payload bay of Discovery to join Mike Fossum uh, to continue work to prepare the Kibo science module for its eventual unberthing and installation on the node on the port side of the Harmony node later today. Fossum is in the uh, process of uh, preparatory work to disconnect a series of electrical cables that have provided power for the Kibo module while it's resided uh, in the uh, shuttle's cargo bay.